This is Let's Talk Big, the Big Read with Jane Berger and Jen Hazel. The Owens Community College Campus Read is taking place now and throughout the semester with the goal of bringing awareness of different perspectives through books. The Campus Read book is Carrie, a Memoir of Survival on Stolen Land, from 2020 recipient of the NEA Creative Writing Fellowship, Tony Jensen. It's a memoir in essays about gun violence, land, and indigenous women's lives. Now sharing passages, topics, and events related to the book, Carrie, a Memoir of Survival on Stolen Land, is Owens Community College Director of Library Services, Jane Berger, and Professor of English, Jen Hazel. Hi, everyone. Let's talk big. I'm here with Jane Berger and Adam Wagner. And I, of course, am Jen Hazel. We have Adam here to tell us about a very exciting event that we have on campus. Adam's going to tell us. We're going to chat a little bit about it. So... Hi, everyone. I'm here to tell you about Book Club, which we hold for our big read, um, usually about once a month. Our next upcoming one is going to be Thursday, February 15th. It's going to be at noon. It's going to be in the CTI, which is College Hall, room 117, and all students, employees are invited. It's a great time. We sit down, we talk about the big read, talk about some chapters and passages, and it leads to lots of interesting conversation. On the docket this time to discuss is Chapter 9, which I think has been on our docket for like the last three months. I I think the last three book clubs we've been going through (laughs) Chapter 9. And the reason is the discussion is so lively and so rich Mm -hmm. that we end up going back and talking about stuff from before or certain things that we've seen and say, you know, this was making me think of, this was making me think of. And I think we get one sentence discussion about chapter nine. Right. But that's okay because we are really going to zero in and do chapter nine. Yeah, 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 chapter nine. Anybody who has listened to this podcast has listened to passages that I have read knows how much I love the information that's in chapter nine. Yeah. There is just so much in there, which is ironic that it's taken us so long it to is. really just start. And I think because we need to give it its own full mm-hmm. hour. We usually try to cover a couple, two, three chapters in a um, book club, but I think chapter nine is worth having its own. So give us a little preview without telling us too much about chapter nine. I've mentioned before, there are multiple themes in this book, and Mm -hmm. many of them show up in Chapter 9. One, I really like the Webster Dictionary uh, word that she chose. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll tell you it's two words instead of of one. She talks about a house that she has purchased. She talks about when her daughter was born. She talks about illness in her family. There's just a lot in this chapter. Great summary, Jane. Adam, tell us why someone should come to book club. Even if maybe they haven't read that chapter, why is it still important to come? It's very important and and rewarding to come to book club. I think kind of going back to what we were talking about before, it's really testament to Tony Jensen's writing that it takes us multiple book clubs to get through a chapter, not because we are getting off track necessarily, but just because we'll identify a sentence or a phrase or an idea. And really her writing is just that packed with meaning and conversation that it takes us that long to to kind of unpack. And so one of the benefits of book club is kind of unpacking those themes and meanings with other people, specifically other people that we have formed community with here at Owens Community College. And it's really interesting to hear different people's perspectives, different people's backgrounds about how the book may relate to their own personal experience or the things that they've gone through and, and how that has informed how they see the world. And, you know, we see the world differently based on our experiences. And so book club is just a wonderful setting that's ripe for those kind of conversations. I'm so glad that that's how you feel about book club, because that's really what Jane and I, the driving force behind doing it. And That is really what it is to be a human, is to be able to have conversations, grow, learn about different perspectives. Learning about another person's perspective really helps you understand the world better, but it also helps you understand yourself better, too, Mm -hmm. and form those connections and learn new things. There's a lot that I have learned from book club and from this entire project Mm -hmm. that I did not know before, 
that in itself is incredible and amazing. The other thing you zeroed in on was the community aspect of it. We have a group of book club people that I'll tell you what, most of the events that I set out invites to, sometimes someone will say something to me, but book club, if they can't be at book club, we know they can't be at book club. Right. And that in itself is very cool mm. to be like, I can't be here. This is what's going on. Please let me know next time what chapters we're doing. People are serious mm. about it. I mean, as a literature person, I'm very excited about that. But in itself, it is just an exciting thing. From your literature perspective to my passage-loving perspective, what I like is I'll have a passage, but then somebody else will bring up something else, another passage that really resonated with them that didn't hit me the same way. And I think you touched on that a little bit, Adam. But it's so nice to have all of these perspectives and all of these experiences that people pick up on just because of of their lived experience, (laughs) that they may share a similar occurrence as Tony, it's a really robust conversation and and group. Adam, can you tell us when the next book club is? Yes. So again, the next book club is Thursday, February 15th at noon. It's in College Hall, room 117, um, also known as the CTI, the Center for Teaching and Innovation. You do not need to have read the chapter either. Like Jen was mentioning before, we, we kind of unpack um, that conversation. You don't need to have read necessarily what we're reading. That's the nice part about the book, too, is it's in kind of that essay nonfiction format. So you can kind of pick up a chapter here and there, go out of order. You know, that's okay. Don't beat yourself up about that. But the discussion, if you haven't read it, the discussion is going to make you want to read it. Yes, yes, 100%, (laughs) especially chapter nine, which is a big... Yes, yes. Thank you so much for being here today, Adam. That's going to do it for us. On behalf of myself and Jane and Adam, keep talking big. Catch Let's Talk Big on Outcast OCCR Owens Community College Radio every Thursday at 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m., and at various times throughout the week. Or listen anytime on the Owens Outcom Plus YouTube channel. Let's Talk Big on the Owens Outcom Plus YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. And join us again here for Let's Talk Big, The Big Read with Jane Berger and Jen Hazel. Oh, no.